Hello friends, welcome to Thinking on Scripture. My name is Stephen Cook and I want to give a very short lesson on salvation and how it is not by works. It is not by works. Now one of the things that I emphasize when presenting the gospel is that salvation is completely the work of God and not the work of people at all. It's a free gift to us, paid in full by the Lord Jesus, who died in our place, as Peter tells us, the just for the unjust, and Christ bore the punishment that rightfully belongs to us. And this means that we bring nothing to God. We bring absolutely nothing to God. Scripture reveals in Romans 3.24 that we are justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. Now, to be clear, salvation is a gift, and if we have to bring anything to our salvation, if we have to pay anything, then it ceases to be a gift, and it means that we have bought it, we have purchased it, okay? But we don't pay for our salvation. Christ paid for our salvation. And so we are justified as a gift by His grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. And Paul says in Romans 6.23 that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is what? Eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And Paul states in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Now the word grace translates the Greek word kodos, which means unmerited favor, undeserved kindness. And we are said to be saved through faith. Now, faith does not save. Christ saves. Faith is merely the means or the instrument by which we receive that salvation. And again, Paul says that it is not of yourselves, that our salvation is the gift of God. And it is not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. So the good news is that we are are saved completely, by what Jesus accomplished for us at the cross, and not by any good works we produce before, during, or after salvation. Let me say that again. The good news is that we are saved completely by what Jesus accomplished for us at the cross, and not by any good works that we produce before, during, or after salvation. Scripture reveals in Romans 3.28 that we are justified by faith apart from the works of the law. Paul says in Romans 4, 5, that salvation comes to the one who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly. And in Galatians 2, 16, Paul says that we are not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Christ Jesus. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus, so that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law, since by the works of the law no flesh will be justified. And again, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. And 2 Timothy 1, 9 tells us that God has saved us, and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was granted us in Christ Jesus from all eternity. And Titus 3.5 tells us, And he saved us, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration, and renewing by the Holy Spirit. So the Bible reveals in truth that we are helpless to save ourselves. In fact, Romans chapter 5, verse 6 through 10 uh, describes us as being helpless, ungodly, sinners, and enemies. And that was our state when Christ came to die for us. We were not beautiful or attractive or in any way deserving of his dying upon the cross for us. We were helpless, we were ungodly, we were sinners, and we were enemies of God. So the Bible reveals that we are helpless to save ourselves, and human works, however noble or great, have no saving merit in God's sight. How then are we saved? 
we are saved again by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Grace is is God's unmerited favor toward us, and grace is sometimes used as an acronym for God's riches at Christ's expense. And this is correct. God richly provides our salvation through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. There is nothing that we bring to God to be saved. God is completely satisfied with what Jesus did for us at the cross. And by faith, we trust in Christ alone to save us. I think of in Acts, excuse me, John 14, 6, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me. And Acts 4, 12 tells us that there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name given under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. And when the Philippian jailer asked uh, the Apostle Paul, what must I do to be saved? The, the answer came back quite simply, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. So the challenge for us is to stop trusting in human works to save us and to cast ourselves completely on Christ as our Savior. And let me close out by saying that good works should follow salvation, but they are never the condition of it. Again, good works should follow salvation, but they are never the condition of it. Thank you very much.